guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So judging by the title, you can pretty much guess what today's video is going to be about. I have been asked a few times how I edit my pictures and my videos. So I thought I would show you guys exactly how I take my Instagram pictures and how I edit it. This is probably not the best attire to be in. So give me a second. I'm just going to change my outfit into something a little bit easier to see, a little bit more pleasing to the eye and a lot easier to edit. I'm going to show you guys how they are taken and then when I come back you guys can see how I edit them. And yes, this is basically about to be catfish central. Like everyone's going to be screaming, oh my god she's a catfish, she doesn't look like that. You know, if you want to see what your babes really looks like, this is the video right here you know this don't lie but instagram definitely does so you know <laughs> no i'm just joking but it's true there are a lot of people that go ham when it comes to editing and i'm not gonna lie i don't really do too much there are things that i probably do on my pictures that are definitely unnecessary but i do them anyway just because i think they look great um no it is not like a confidence thing i don't edit it because i feel any type of way about myself it's nothing to do with being insecure. I just like the way it looks. So hopefully <laughs> by the time it's done for all my men out there, now you know what goes into uh, women's pictures. And for all my girls out there who don't know how to edit or use the app that I'm going to show you that I use, maybe this can give you some insight as to how to do it. But if you don't want to edit, don't do it at all. But at least now you guys can see how I do my pictures, the little tweaks here and there that I choose to do, why I choose to do them and exactly what it is I do. So keep watching and you will see exactly how it goes. Okay guys, so I've come downstairs. I've changed into something a little bit more appealing to the eye according to my cousin. Just so you guys can <laughs> see. So Just so you guys can see how I edit this picture. When I'm by myself, I will typically just set up my camera on a tripod, but because I am not by myself and I'm lucky enough to have my cousin here, I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my pictures and how I take my pictures while she's taking them. So if we move it, so I am, so it's a Leah, like more like that kind of closeness instead of like that. I know that was a video, but that kind of closeness instead of that far away. So like, so you don't see the bottom. So it's maybe like up to here. Yeah, but you looking cute. You like my slime. <laughs> <laughs> that American would say. Um, <laughs> okay. Do it with less room above my head and closer. That's how you normally take. Them. Okay, let's use this one. So what I then do is I go through the ones that have been taken, and I favourite the ones that I like. So, oh, oh, don't know what happened it's there. It's basically like the X Factor. Basically. And for her photographer, you know, your heart skips a beat sometimes because you just think, oh my God, you're she's not so gonna full like of crap. Any. Well, guess what? I liked a few. So these are the ones I picked. So now I'm going to go back upstairs and show you guys, once I've picked the picture, exactly how I edit it. And we are back. Okay, guys, we are back in action. I have taken the pictures. Thank you to my cousin Ashton for taking them for me. Um, I don't really like to dwell and take pictures for long. Like sometimes it takes forever to take them. Sometimes I can get the shot within like literally five, 10 pictures. It just depends. So when I see at least two or three pictures that I know I can edit to perfection, I'm done with the outfit. I'm like onto the next thing. So I've got all the pictures here. I've already favorited the ones that are my favorites. So I'm gonna get the camera and show you guys what app I use, how I use it, and what happens from there. I start off by going on to my phone and picking my favorites. So these are the five 
favourites that I chose. And those are the ones. And then from there, I'm going to pick which one I want to show you guys how I edit. So I think I'm going to pick this one. So the app that I use is Facetune 2. And yes, this is me and my mum on my background. Hi, mummy. Facetune 2. Find your favourite picture, which I believe the one I said I was going to use was this smiling one. And you add it to Facetune. Can you guys still see exactly what it is I'm doing? Yes, I'm about to catfish our us. First thing I do is zoom in at the picture and look at all the things I like and don't like about the picture, how I'm posing, my hands, the positioning, etc. If it needs cropping. The first thing I do is edit my face. So I click retouch, I click smooth, and I just smooth out my face just a little bit. I try not to go too overboard. Do my chin a little bit. And that's kind of it. If I feel like my chest or my arms need smoothing out, I will also go over them. So in this one, I might go over it just a little bit. Smooth it out, nothing too crazy. Go over my arms. And that is pretty much it for smooth. When you scroll along on Facetune 2, you have loads of options. So you've got texture, details, sharpen, structure, glow, conceal, etc., etc. So I like to go in with my details. And typically, the things I details are my eyebrows. So I literally just do a little line over my eyebrows and my eyes, make them pop. And then I go over my teeth and my lips. So ever so slightly. And a little bit on the tip of my nose. I also go over my dimples. Oh my god, now I can't close it. Just like that. On this picture, because I've got my hair slicked up, let me zoom in a bit more for you guys, I probably will go over on details on my baby hairs that are slicked back. Like that. And just over my hair in general. Oh, my hair in general. This is not easy to do with one hand. I'm also going to go over my necklace. Come on, close for me. And just a light brush of detail all over the picture itself, like that. And then I click the tick here. Once that's done, I go back to retouch at the beginning and I click whiten. And any backgrounds or any walls that are like beige or white, I like to go over and whiten them some more. So the floor needs to get whitened like this. Guys, this is so hard to do with one hand, can I just say? The top needs to get whitened up here, the ceiling. And I basically whiten all of the background. And what I like about this is that I can show the intensity of the whitening. So I move the tool up a little bit if I want the white background to pop a lot. And the beauty of this as well is that it also has the rubbing out tool. So when you click it, I don't know if you guys can notice, but the background goes blue to show where exactly you've whitened. So I can see that on certain areas, I've gone over my dress. So there, for example, so I take the rubber tool and rub out the bits around my dress. And I just go over my entire body just to make sure that I didn't whiten unnecessary places. Okay, I can't lie, I don't need to do too much to this picture. Oh, no, I do, I need to go back and whiten the corners of the picture. That would be very helpful, so it's an even whitening. Honestly, guys, doing this without this is very hard. Um, what I then do is I go on Edit, and I change the brightness, I change the contrast, the colour, I sharpen it, I add shadows and highlights. So most of the editing I do kind of mainly comes from the lighting afterwards. The first thing I do is either brighten it or darken the picture. And of late, I've gotten to this habit of liking the picture a little bit darker. I then add a contrast. I then sharpen it a little bit. And my favorite is adding shadows and highlights. So I like to add less shadows and I like to highlight it a lot. Now I want this picture to be a little bit darker moody. So I'm gonna turn down the highlights on it. 
and this is how it will look so i'll show you guys how it looks before and after so this is the original and this is how i've edited it original edited original edited original edited so another thing that i like to do i do not like to edit my body but i like to smooth out things like this in a dress so what i will do is i would go to reshape i'd go to refine and i'd zoom in and i would basically pull out those ruffles or push them back in if they're not needed like that just so it looks a little bit smoother like that it smooths out the look of the dress entirely so it looks like that when i then post this on my instagram i then go back in with the sharpening with the lightening and stuff like that to edit it a little bit more but most of the stuff that i do is kind of that um, I might look at it once I've sharpened it and realise I might need to go over with the smooth tool again. So in this instance, it's a little bit grainy because I've added a lot of sharpening. So I just go back in and go over it with... The, oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry for the noise. My bracelets are insane right now. But I go back in with the smooth in all the same places that I've done them before over my neck, over my chest a little bit, over my arms because it's a little bit grainy and just over the front of the dress. And that is literally it. And this is how I get my pictures edited. So I then save it and it's now my camera roll. So out of all those pictures, this is the one I picked and this is how the final shot looks. So nice and clean and this is it. Hopefully I'm not too much of a catfish. <laughs> that is literally all I do. I try not to do too, too much, like I said. I just do what I think's required. Um, there are obviously days where my skin might be atrocious, so then I'll smooth out those particular parts of my skin even more so. There might be times where my hair is frizzy, so then I will shape my hair a little bit better. Um, it all depends, but that is the generic way I edit my pictures. A lot of my editing comes from lighting and over sharpening a picture and that's it i'm sorry if this wasn't as informative as you had liked if you made it this far to the end of the video comment like share subscribe all of that i'm proud of you for making it this far because i know people's attention spans aren't great all the time mine included but yeah hopefully this gives you some insight i thought i'd let you guys know exactly what i do if you liked the video let me know below let me know if you have any added extras that i can use or any other apps that i can use to edit pictures i do also use visco and lightroom but that is very very rare that is typically when i'm on holiday and the sky is like a bright blue and i want to make it more vibrant or the sand is like pure white and i want to make the sea color pop more then i'll use those type of apps and i will add filters to them but other than that this is literally all i do to my pictures so i hope you guys enjoyed Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you liked it and let me know if you have any other tips or any other apps that I should use or if there's any other way that I should edit my pictures or if you use Facetune too as well. And I will see you guys in my next video.